What's good with the YouTube fight fans all over the world? It's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir. I said it. Real talk boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet again. Fight week. Come on, man. We couldn't get Errol Spence, so we got the next best thing. Sean Showtime Porter. Sean P. Is Sean Porter being highly underestimated in this fight with Terrence Crawford? That's my question to you. Yes, I think he is. I do. Um, and it's understandable. It is. But then again, it isn't. Sean Porter's no joke. Now, I, I, I rarely see people giving Sean Porter an edge in this fight. Uh, more so Terrence Crawford. Get that, understand it completely. This is going to be, you know, one part of a multiple part series throughout the week on this fight. I figured I'd stretch it out, uh, short videos here and there. Um, but listen, we're not going to talk about Crawford right now. That's for the next video, all right? I'm not sleeping on Crawford. And I'm also not sleeping on Sean Porter. We forget he's a former two-time world champion, right? We forget that he has a stacked resume, right? We forget that when he fought Errol Spence Jr., if it wasn't for that knockdown, we, that, that fight could have went either way. If it wasn't for that one slip-up, he went to sleep for two seconds and he got his nose wiped and his knee touched the canvas. If it wasn't for that, fight could have played out much different. We got to remember, Sean Porter's movement is underestimated. Those pivots... And those turns, you understand what I'm saying? That wasn't that wasn't nothing like him, but I'm saying you get it right. Um, I probably should have left that out. But anyway, the dude has great movement, and he shows that he can box also. Now listen, his last two fights, he looked great. Errol Spence, he looked great. Yeah, he lost the fight, but he looked great, and he won the crowd over that night, and gained a lot of respect from Errol Spence Jr. And then you got. Sebastian Formella, who's a human punching bag, but nevertheless, the dude was durable. Sean couldn't knock him out, but when was the last time Sean had a knockout? Andre Berto, maybe. Comment down below and let me know. I may be wrong, but that was a long time ago, like 2017, 18, something like that. Um, but he showed that he could box. He boxed the brakes off Sebastian. Sebastian was in there to, to survive, but he showed boxing skills in that fight. So he does have more than just one gear. But listen, I'm not counting him out in this fight. I don't, I don't say that he doesn't have a chance to win. I say that he does have a chance to win. Will he win? That's yet to be seen. I have, in my mind, and my opinion on who will win that fight. You'll see that later on through this week. But um, Sean Porter can win this fight. Pressure. Being in shape. Being durable. In his chest, making it uncomfortable. All of those things, he is a professional at. He's a pro at it. Point blank, period. So is he being highly underestimated? Yes, I believe so, in my honest opinion. But he shouldn't be. Because he does have it, what it takes. He has the drive. He has the wind. He has the wheel. And the dude's durable. And you can't break him. But Crawford says, hey, you ain't going to break me either. This is part one to a multiple part video throughout the week, fight week, Sean Porter versus Terrence Bud Crawford. Now listen, comment down below at your boy Real Talk, know what you think about this. <laughs> As always, respect all, fear none, God bless. This is the next time Real Talk Boxing, I'm up and I'm out of here, baby. Click, click, boom. These are the kind of fights we need, baby.